losing my sister to suicide obviously has been a big motivation in everything that I'm doing in my career and obviously getting involved with American Foundation for Suicide. But um, even more so is because people don't talk about it. Suicide is one of those taboo issues that if it happens in your family or if you're having suicidal thoughts or emotional crisis, you don't talk about it. So I kind of wanted to get out there on the forefront and say, hey, I've experienced this and it's terrible and we should talk about it more so that people aren't feeling closeted with those feelings. I did a lot of research because after losing my sister, I just really went into like focus mode. Like what if I wanted to commit suicide? Like what, what is there out there for me? What kind of outreach programs are there? And, and I didn't find a lot. So that's why I'm kind of building this foundation and trying to get people together so that we can have an outreach program that's like right there and highly accessible for people who are kind of going through the same thing I went through and that my sister went through. People shy away from the, you know, feeling like uh, labeling it depression or not wanting to feel like something's wrong with them, but there's always um, the suicide hotline. It's um, 1-800-873-TALK. Just reaching out to a friend, a family member, a uh, school counselor. So it's really about just talking about what's on your mind. I always say this to people, like if you could remember the same, the thing that you were upset about one year ago today, then they say no. And then I say to them, well then know that tomorrow can be better because you're not even gonna remember what you're feeling like. So a lot of the times it's just prompting people to talk. Lifegetsbetter.org is a site that I created dedicated to my sister. Uh, I, I created it like three years ago or two, like two and a half years ago because I was ready to speak out about what I had been through and tell my story, but I wasn't, I didn't know how I would help people. Like that was one of my biggest issues. Like how can I help people? So I decided that the way I'm gonna help people is just by telling my story. And then maybe by someone seeing what I went through and the pain that it caused me for my whole life, <laughs> um, it could just prevent someone else from maybe wanting to, to do that or not talking to people or help someone else who's in the similar situation that I'm in where they lost somebody. So I just started that as like my own little way of like reaching out and starting the cause. Mm -hmm.